Guyana and Venezuela are looking to strengthen their partnership and cooperation in the ongoing fight against the narco trade. With Venezuela sharing a border with Colombia, it is believed that a large portion of the cocaine passing through Guyana makes its way from Colombia through Venezuela. Guyana and Venezuela over the years have been looking at new ways to combat the old problem. But Guyana's porous borders and lack of sufficient resources to comprehensively deal with the drug fight, especially at the border locations, have forced the authorities in both Guyana and Venezuela to start working closer together in the security sector. This morning, Guyana and Venezuela began negotiations on a new anti-drugs cooperation agreement. Officials from the two countries opened a meeting at the Home Affairs Ministry, with Home Affairs Minister Clement Rohe stating that enhanced cooperation is needed. Both sides have come to the conclusion that the agreement concluded on the 27th of March 1987 does not contain all of the provisions necessary to combat the trade in illegal drugs. It is envisaged that the instrument that will be concluded to enhance cooperation and coordination between Guyana and Venezuela will, one, include assistance in taking of necessary actions to confiscate the assets of those convicted of involvement in the trade in illegal drugs or related offenses, and two, ensure real-time cooperation and coordination between the respective law enforcement agencies. Rohi said this country is putting together a new national drug strategy master plan, but cooperation with its neighbors is what's important right now. One of the key components of any anti-illegal drug strategy for Guyana must be the fostering of cooperation and coordination with Guyana's neighbors. Today, further action is being taken to ensure that the instruments we have in place to facilitate the cooperation and coordination is responsive to the present and emerging modus operandi of the operators of the illegal trade as, they, as well as their facilitators. For as long as the drug trade in for as long as the trade in illegal drugs remain an international issue, that will always be a need. And the Venezuelan ambassador to Guyana, Dario Morande, spoke of the important role Venezuela has been playing in trying to curb narco trafficking here. He pledged his government's continued support to do more. This meeting is a continuation of the war that has been going on between both countries with the objective of signing an agreement for the prevention of the abuse and the suppression of illicit trafficking of narcotic drugs, psychotropic substances and chemical precursors, as well as related offenses understanding that prevention as permanent actions is aimed at promoting integral development of the human. Guyana has been looking to develop closer ties with its neighbors over the years in its effort to stop the flow of drugs. This country has been listed as a drug transshipment point for cocaine heading to Europe and North America.